Hello, I am Dr. Nischel. I am practicing at uh, Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic in Vijayanagar, Bangalore. We do mesotherapy where medications are injected into the scan, derma roller is done, platelet rich plasma is done, and also iontophoresis is done. See, these are the treatments which are chosen based on the severity of the hair fall and the improvement what we require. In iontophoresis, the medication is applied on the skin and a galvanic current is passed. These galvanic current, they push the medication into the skin. So the delivery of the medicine is better, the results are better. In mesotherapy, medications are injected into the skin. The depth of penetration is much better when compared to iontophoresis. So the results are better. When an individual presents with severe hair fall, mesotherapy is done weekly once to arrest the hair fall. Usually about four to six sittings brings the hair fall under good control and then the hair growth is maintained or it's improved using other treatment modalities. Derma roller is a very cheap and a very innovative treatment option where we tend to stimulate the stem cells in the hair follicle. These are safer because the stem cells are stimulated in vivo means we are stimulating an individual's own stem cells rather than putting it from outside. So the safety is much better. Second, whenever I am, we are doing a derma roller, there is a prick to the scalp and we apply some active ingredients. So the actives go into the skin. So there is a benefit of stimulation of the stem cells. There is also a benefit of better delivery of the medication. These procedures are repeated till the hair fall stabilizes and a good improvement is seen. Platelet rich plasma is a treatment which is popularly called as a vampire lift but this is not only used for a facial rejuvenation but also for the hair. What is the logic? Platelets are rich in growth factors and as you all know platelets are a cell in the blood. So these platelets which are loaded with the growth factors are separated from other blood cells and they are injected back into the skin. So when these platelets which are injected into the skin, release the growth factors, the hair growth is promoted. So these growth factors rejuvenate the cells. So the dying cells, the poorly functioning cells, they start getting rejuvenated and functioning better. So this improves the hair growth. And since it's the individual's own blood, there is no risk of any infections, any allergies, and rather these molecules have found to have antibacterial effect. It's a very simple and a easy technique and very beneficial technique as well. What do we do when an individual has lost significant number of hairs or he wants to cover one small patch which are happening in the corners of his front line. So in those situations, they need transplantation. So hair transplantation is a technique where follicles from the backside of the scalp are removed and put into the front. Since they are implanted into the skin, they tend to grow naturally. It is just like you put, you pick a plant from one area and you plant it in a different area. So it retains its properties, it grows into the skin and it divides or it grows naturally as before.